most people when you jump out, who y'all? Listen, my name's so and so, Miss Danny Bonds. I want to ask y'all a question because I'm we doing a documentary where we can show the government and the mayor office what we feel is not done right and correct here. What do you think we could do to change the conditions of where you live and the finances of the community? Okay, y'all say this is going on. I beg the difference. Mm -hmm. How do I? Here, play this and let all of them see it. Oh, who who y'all talking to? Because y'all not talking to these people. Mm -hmm. Y'all talking to people who come to work every day who got a job down down is black. Mm -hmm. Y'all talking to pastors that's not even coming in the community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never looked at it like that. I know you did. But you're not out here. You come and do this to get a paycheck. Mm -hmm. I come and do this because I live here. I live out here. I'm from here. You're not. Why are we not hiring people that look like us in our community? That's half the battle, knowing your area. Right, right. So how's a police officer gonna come in the area and work and say, I'm a, I'm a professional, I'm, I'm gonna help. Exactly. You don't even know who the lawbreakers are over here. You got yes, Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, right, 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 right there on the corner for 45 years. Mr. Johnson go to work every day, he come home every Friday, him and his wife get drunk, they argue, they don't fight. They argue, they play their blues music loud, they argue. And then they fall asleep. This is every Friday ritual for 45 years. You got this, this 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 individual that wasn't born and raised in the neighborhood. He's gone get a report of loud music and Mr. Over there and Johnson Oregon. It's a good chance Mr. Johnson might get shot, tased, oh, and, you know what I'm saying, for this every Friday ritual. Versus a person that lived in the neighborhood knows Mr. Uh, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Mr. Johnson. Yeah, he just loud, they drunk. Mm -hmm. They're gonna fall asleep in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> if our communities was to police themselves, we wouldn't be able to complain about police brutality and police doing anything like that. When they be chomping on cops, I'll be like, man, sometimes I'll be listening on some stuff because y'all. Y'all playing. You take advantage of black folks. You think we're going to always vote your way and you don't do crap for us. I think Trump brings to the table is he forces us to acknowledge they don't care. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, at one time we would argue that they care. Right. But what he's doing and what he's been doing since he's been in office, if nobody black knows now, they all know he ain't okay. for us. Everybody's getting their own mm -hmm. money and, and, and don't care about nothing else. My thing is save a life. Because they can never pay you for what, you, what, you, what a life is worth. Yeah. And I tell the mayor, and, and, and safety all the time. If I, if I work and, and save five kids throughout the week, what is their life worth? Since you say y'all want to pay me, right. what kind of scale could you give me equivalent to save my life? The price of, it takes to put them up in a prison for a year. What, what, like a, what is it, 84000 a year? Yeah, yeah, but, I was glad I had a different train of thought. My first thought was, Man, I'm about to go ahead and get this stuff. Right. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna get this money because I need it for this, this, and that. I was like, man, I'm gonna hold up. I'm gonna hold fast. I'm gonna keep my right. patience. I called Victoria. She was like, hey, come down and see what we're doing. And I'm here. It's better. We have to be able to come together as a society of positive individuals. One person can't do it. One person not gonna be able to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? If we can all come together, just like he that was important. What I got out of that, what he just said was he called you. Listen, I when I first got here at Southfield was considered. Southfield, everybody's like, Southfield. So now you know, he go back. Proud of their yes, people were proud, proud of their English. People were proud of their school. Mm -hmm. I remember when I was here, when I was a kid going to school, dudes would buy the letterman jackets. Oh yeah. You know, you play the sport just so you can get the yeah. jacket, jacket and rep exactly. your school. I mean, people were so proud to be from Ohio to say they was a part of Ohio State. Mm -hmm. I mean, it used to be block parties. Yeah. The campus. I didn't even you know that. We yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. They would block the street off and they had block parties. Kind of Step of shows. Home. Home. Step shows. Yeah. And all this is going on. You talking about coming home? Mm -hmm. When we used to have that in Mount Vernon? Yeah, yeah. 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 Mount Vernon, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, what, my brain was full of black on business. Like when you go to these neighborhoods now, you, I, I'm saddened by it. What, what black leader do we do we have in Columbus, Ohio, who's grooming a young black man to take his position? I don't know. I'm 51. They, you know? they, they don't do it. I would have never guessed that. But guess what? They don't do it no more. Mm -hmm. When I was young, a, a black guy coming up had a protege. He had somebody right. in the room. 